Hey, everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with this Christmas sign that I had. And I popped those two plastic pieces off. And now I'm just going to kind of scrape off some of the excess glue, sand it down a little bit. And then I'm just going to paint that center piece in between the two pieces of buffalo check with some white chalk paint. And I did two coats of this paint, making sure not to get any on the black on either side. Once I have that all painted, I am going to take this printable that I have in my shop and I just printed it out in its normal size and then just cut it down to fit in between these two pieces. So in between the buffalo check. So I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge down and then I'm going to lay my printable on there. So I just cut some of the top and the bottom off and I'm going to line that up with the two black lines on there. Now it doesn't go all the way to the edge, but that's okay because I'm going to make it blend. So once I have that on there and it dries, I am going to sand off those excess pieces on the edges. And once I have those all sanded off, I am going to take some antique wax and I'm going to run it along the edges where the printable didn't fit to just to blend it in with the background of the sign and to make it look like the printable went all the way to the edge. And I just used a paintbrush to do this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that antique wax on a paintbrush and then just kind of brush the edges so that it looks like it's part of the sign all the way to the edges. So once I have that all on there, I'm going to take these plastic pieces and I'm going to put them back on and I'm going to line them up and then I'm going to mark them out of where they kind of hang over the edge because now I've moved them to a skinnier part of the sign so they're a little bit big. So I'm just going to lay them down on there and try and figure out exactly where I want them and then just mark them with a pencil. And then I'm going to cut those with a pair of miter shears. So I'm just going to mark off where I want them cut and then take my miter shears and cut them. And I got these at Lowe's. So I'm just going to cut and trim the edges on these. Make sure I'm checking again that I'm getting the right fit. Trim again on that other side and then lay that down and check it again, making sure that it fits perfectly. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. Once I have them all cut out and they're ready to go on, I can start to glue them down. So I'm just going to take some hot glue and then glue them back into place where I had them cut. Making sure that I line them up with the edge of the sign so that everything is flush. And the same thing with the bottom. Once I have them both attached again, you can see that all the edges all are nice and rounded off and lined up. I'm going to take some twine and I'm just going to push it through the holes that were previously on the sign and then just tie them off in a knot on either side to make a new hanger. I did a few knots on it and then cut off the excess. And again, just doing it on the same on the other side. and then cut off that end. And now I have the hanger all set. I made a buffalo check and window pane ribbon bow. I'm gonna glue that right to the top in between the hangers. And then I am going to take a yellow button and put that right in the center of the bow. And then I'm gonna take my antique wax and just go along the whole sign, just giving it a little bit of an aged look to kind of bring everything together and make it all match. So just kind of going through, going right over the printable, again on those edges, over those pieces of plastic, and just kind of giving this a little bit of an aged look. I'm not going overboard with it. Just kind of making everything blend with the printable.
And that is it. This project is finished. I hope you enjoyed this project. I think it turned out so super cute. I hope it inspires you to make one. You can find the printable in my shop. I can put the link in the comments. I absolutely love buffalo checks and sunflowers. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.